Right. You next though. To have a kid? Yeah. That's easily you. No. That's easily you. Me I'm I already that. know I already know the the uh, the trick on how not to get pregnant. It's not gonna happen. How not to not in a girl. See? No. You're hitting a girl from the back, right? You feel that tingling coming in you like you're about your your Achilles is about to fuck up. <laughs> you grab your ball. You you grab you use your right hand because you well not your right hand your most dominant hand it don't matter. You grab your balls from the back. You yank it up. Shut the fuck up. I'm serious. When you yank it up, you don't nut. <laughs> so you just keep fucking. Yeah, just yank it up and keep fucking. Like, Shut the fuck up. Like pull it up to your ass crack. <laughs> your balls. I'm not who, bullshit. Who taught you this? My dad. <laughs> How do you he think he got this on you? 13 kids? <laughs> he learned the trick finally. Bro, you, speaking of uh, doggy style, though, why? All right, say you... Thumb and ass? You, no, you uh. fucking a girl doggy, and you got both hands, like, on the hips. Yeah. Why is it when you put, like, two hands on one side, it's totally different? Oh, <laughs> that changes I, the game. I don't know what it is about that. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> you just move one hand, yeah. and it changes the entire feeling. Yeah, like, you put your hand straight, it makes you know it's like, it's it's just this, like this, how, this is how I begin. No, first is how I begin. First, I'm normal like this. And then, I cross hands. Like, like, I cross Crossing hands is a game changer, too. I cross hands, like, you know, like, whichever hand I feel, I move it to the other side. Woo! Bro, I don't know what it is about this. It just changes everything. Yeah. Both hands on one side, yeah, that can go crazy. For real, for real. I don't know when I'm gonna have a kid, though. Honestly, I don't know when I want one. <laughs> to me, I think the perfect age will honestly be when I'm financially free. That's the perfect age. Cause I don't want to bring a life into this world if I'm not ready to give it everything. I don't know. I don't know when, but I just know I'm not ready now. <laughs> At all. That's why I just been nothing. Fuck me up. That's why I just been nothing in bitches' ass. I know they're not gonna get pregnant like that. Ain't no bitch letting you nut her ass. Yeah, they, they do. These girls are not out here like that. They can't stop me from nutting. What are they gonna say? The fuck, bro. Girls are fucking crazy. If you if you crash her in the ass, he can nut. Bro, there's this girl on Tinder who who matched with me, and I said like, because you know how sometimes accounts be looking fake. Uh-huh. I was like, this this account isn't real. She responded and said, yes, I am. What the fuck? Now buy me alcohol. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> freaking crazy. I responded one fucking time. nuts. I responded one time on Tinder. Uh, this girl, she posted like six, seven pictures in like, with like three different hair colors. <laughs> and then she said some, she, and her bio was a whole bunch of bullshit. I just wrote her. I was like, what's your natural hair color? <laughs> and she just unmatched me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. And that, that was the last time I ever wrote a girl on Tinder. Nowadays, I just match big girls. I match everybody, but. Big girls. I swipe right on everybody. But the matches that come back to, it's always big girls on Tinder. <laughs> but they're always black for me. Black big yeah, girls. black. <laughs> the ones be looking like half dykes. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, the hate, but it broke. No. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hell no. I seen this video on Twitter today of a dyke getting um, head off her dildo in traffic. He's <laughs> bragging about it. What? She's getting head off this, her strap arm in traffic, bragging about it. A dyke. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, y'all see this shit? Little, like, How is that? And then a girl was sucking on plastic dick. <laughs> she was like, y'all <laughs> see this shit? I was is like, she serious? It wasn't a troll? It wasn't a troll. She's in traffic. Because she showed it. Uh, I'm like, what the fuck? I don't understand why young M.A. be rapping about getting fucking girls. Bitches will suck a plastic dick, but we're getting saucy if you ask them to suck a real dick in traffic. What the <laughs> fuck? Being gay, like I said, being gay is just weird. Like, girls would rather have a plastic dick than a real dick. And dudes no, would rather I, fuck a black a man's ass than a girl's ass. I heard of uh, the girls' part. Uh, this this one dyke said, not she wasn't a dyke. It was a gay girl. She, it was on a dyke though. She said they prefer dykes over guys because dykes don't come with the emotional baggage. I mean, not emotional baggage. How they said because guys don't act like guys and dykes don't act like guys. They just like girls and I have guess, they But I guarantee, like I guess the dominant alpha. They don't. They, some girls don't like the alpha. You know, that's on you though. Yeah, but I mean, if that's what they like, then that's weird. But the guys, I don't know what's their excuse, bro. Y'all niggas <laughs> is fucking tripping. I told you what they do to niggas like that in Africa, right? 
put a tire on the head. Yeah, they put a tire. Bro, no, that's first, that ancient shit. First, they stone you until like you can't barely walk and shit. And then <laughs> they put a tire over you and set you on fire. They ain't doing that shit no more. All right, I'm trying to tell you, they still do it to this day. If they hear, if they heard in America that y'all actually uh, kill the people, you know, y'all death penalty stuff like that, like that bullshit y'all have, y'all nicely let them go. Oh my fucking gosh. <laughs> Like the chemicals and shit like that, y'all making no pain. What, well, like give them a, a shot? Yeah, like all the chemicals, they, they, they inject them. It's inhumane, though. No pain, it just kills them. What they did was inhumane. How'd they get in that situation? Was selling lemonade on the corner? We all make bad choices. Yeah, okay. Every sin weighs the same, right? No. Congo, you're going to find out how bad your choice is. You steal something, you can get your hands barbecued. And the people who are doing that, though, like cutting the hands off, they be sinning, too. Yeah. It's just... If you strong enough to get caught or not. Yeah. And that's why, like, being a criminal in Africa is an Olympic sport, bro. You have to be, like, <laughs> athletic. Because to get caught, after you get caught, you're fucking moving. But niggas will jump over, it's like, dangerous, though, 15 you feet don't know, walls. You don't know if, like, niggas, like, gave up on uh, looking for you or not. Yeah. There ain't no Facebook or Instagram. Yeah. You would be three months out, but niggas will run up on you. Yeah. They're a fucking different breed. You think I could last in Africa? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I don't know, bro. What you mean you, you can't last? Because I, I ain't going for that. All them traditions. I'm going in there well, acting how I want to act. I mean, <laughs> the traditions ain't nothing crazy. It's not strict, but it's in the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia. <laughs> They're not going to can you in, tr- in public if you What if I make a gay joke, though? They, I guarantee they don't understand sarcasm. No, I'm pretty sure they do understand sarcasm. Well, actually, I don't know about sarcasm. But they make gay jokes. Like, homophobic is rampant. And here in America, they call it a homophobic. In Africa, they call it common sense. So you take what you're everyone you want. You seen that African interviewer? He had, a, like, a dyke on. Well, he was like, why do you gay? Said, so why are you gay? He yeah. said, who says I'm gay? You are gay. <laughs> to, that's how they see it. Like, there's so many beautiful... Bro, I'm trying to tell you, Africa is like a big-ass HBCU, bro. Black people everywhere, bro. Beautiful black women. Beautiful black... Purple. Black, beautiful everywhere. purple women, nice bodies everywhere. So it's like it's so confusing for a guy to be gay. It's like they take it as an insult. That's why they kill them. <laughs> they get so mad <laughs> thinking about it. They're like, my sister's right there, and you're gay. They're like, you to, what are you trying to say? Like, the asses are too firm. That's the problem. Yeah, you never fucked a They're black girl. They're not jiggly. You never slept with a black girl. Talking about how it's too firm. I refuse, bro. It's never too firm. If I'm fucking a black girl, I might as well fuck her uncle. Bro, stop, it's bro. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing whatsoever. They have the same amount of hair. <laughs> <laughs> From the hips down, they look the same. <laughs> Nigga is capping, bro. Black girls are some baddies. Black girls are the beautiful, the prettiest women on this earth. I can't marry America. I can't wait to marry no, a black girl. The foreign girls are, like, from weird countries. Black girls can be foreign? What you mean? African girls are foreign? That's different. African girls aren't foreign? They're not considered foreign. Why aren't they? <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? African's just African. <laughs> he got his cockroaches. Speaking of. Why can't... Mm-hmm. You think Ohio State had going to impress him? Yeah. I need him. I need Ooh, him. Hey, no. <laughs> Y'all be FAU. Hold on. That nigga's a fan of a num- uh, number two school? <laughs> number three, nigga. I'm trying to, we ain't that I'm big. I'm put my LSU hoodie on. <laughs> there, they get wet as fuck. I'm going to hit your borough. Hit your borough. Derek Stingley. <laughs> Derek Stingley. Oh, <laughs> uh, clear. Oh, what's that running back name? Uh... Edward Zilair. Yeah, Edward Zilair. Edward Zilair. They, they're, trying to, they're trying to change his name because he's getting a little popular now. They're calling him Hilaire now. Man. Because he has an H. <laughs> he's not, he, he is way better than he should be, bro. No. That man not. is 5'8", 217. No, he And he be not. getting yards. No, bro. He, LSU's whole offense is overrated. No, it's not. Starting with the fucking quarterback. That Shut fucking. Up. You, would, you would drool if you had him. Carson Palmer ass nigga. <laughs> Carson Palmer was good. You see what happened to him now? He was good at Madden at least. No, the hell he wasn't. He won the Heisman too though. But I still can't believe that old head didn't believe Cam Newton was a Heisman <laughs> winner. Like he legit like didn't believe me. I'm like, bro, what that, the fuck? That's like disrespectful because that's one of my favorite Heisman winners ever. I'm like, bro, because he was talking about how Cam Newton was like unsuccessful in the NFL, yada yada. yada. I'm like, 
I mean, he lost in the Super Bowl, but he won MVP. And he won Heisman. He and, won uh, MVP? Yeah, he won MVP. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. He, he has some, he has some, some lucky. Super Bowl MVP or like league? No, league MVP. Damn, I didn't know that. Yeah, balling. He, I'm like, he's not really that unsuccessful. He won Heisman and league MVP. And he was like, he won Heisman? And I was like... <laughs> Yeah, look, I didn't know. I'm like, we're football guys, aren't we? I'm like, this is, he's like asking me what's the first down. I'm like, yeah, Kim Newton won Heisman. What the? I was about to rock off on him. Look, but there's a camera like on the corner. I'm like, yeah, he won Heisman. He was like, hmm, I might have to look that up. You're trying to, you, you might try to trick me. And then he asked uh, uh, another nigga that's next to us. He wasn't that old, but he was older than me. He was like, uh, did Kim Newton win MVP? He was like, did he? I don't know. He was like, he's a this nigga from, uh, they're from Auburn. I'm like, yeah, bro. Y'all niggas is tripping. Auburn, Alabama? No, Auburn, Fort Wayne. <laughs> and they are right there. Both from Auburn, though. Like, <laughs> they're from Auburn, Fort Wayne. I mean, Auburn, Indiana. I say Auburn, Fort Wayne. <laughs> Some country-ass folks. Bro. Nigga was breaking me down to uh, New York Giants defense that had uh, <laughs> Lawrence Taylor on it. Well, he was he was like he was like it wasn't just Lawrence Taylor. He named like six other niggas. I'm like I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like nigga, he, this he could always, be us. And then he talk about, he always talk about the rivalry between uh, Jim Parcell and uh, Bill Belichick. I'm like he ain't even in a he even a coach no more. I'm a Parcell. <laughs> I'm like, this, I know this nigga is really an old head. And he was asking me, do I know who Curtis Martin is from the Jets? I'm like, bro, this nigga is. The commentator? Yeah. Oh, no, that's Curtis Smith. Yeah, Curtis Martin, he was a running back for the Jets. Retired like in 04. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you stop telling me this, bro. If he doesn't watch football now, what does he do? I, uh, he, he a bass like musician. Like, he plays music. He's trying to be in a, uh, create his own band or something like that. But I'm like, he's a fucking nutcase. <laughs> I don't know. That shit is clowning. <laughs> Man, long weekend. I got tomorrow off, too. You do? That's what's up. I might do a 12 tomorrow. I, I don't to, know, though. I need to hurry up and write this book. Shit. And get out of here. Don't it end when you die? Huh? Don't it end when you die? Like the, uh, the, book? the story of Elijah? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting under in a white cloth? Where he was blind this whole time? What I hate about writing is, like, people, it takes a lot for people to feel you, especially in writing. So, like, half of the time, people's writings don't even get appreciated until they die. Or it's, like, yeah. 50 years have passed, and you see how long it's lasted. Yeah. Because I know I'd be writing some fire shit, but it's, like, if I showed somebody right now, they're not going to care. That's what... Did, did, I, you, did you turn it in... I hope you're turning it to a book, or... Well, you, or no, nah, what I write now is usually just stuff on its own. I need to start this book that I have in mind. Uh, but it's like, what? it's demoralizing because I know, like, if I put this online or someone showed somebody, it should be like, whatever. Ain't nobody really going to read it. Shit. I, need, read I, need it. To, I need to find somebody who, like, appreciates words. Go to Indeed.com. <laughs> Indeed.com, you'll find a lot of Fort Wayne is fucking, nobody cares. Bro, you're not trying to get... No, that, that, this is a whole nother... This, this is a combo for after the podcast, literally... Bro, uh, I was about to say, uh, yeah, bro. I definitely read your shit. And the best thing you can do is really just go anonymous, cause that'll that'll make you ambiguous. People, you know, who's this mystery great writer? He's deep, yada yada yada. That's how the weekend started and Edgar Allan Poe. Mm-hmm. They both started anonymous as fuck, and people liked it. That's they how, liked it. That's how J.K. Rowling started. She started like that too. Harry Potter. Yeah, I remember because she, she her. I don't think that's her real name. Yes, yeah, not because her, 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 her name is too feminine, so she wanted to sound masculine. Uh, what's you call it? Gloria Hughes. He listened to the weekend before we knew what he looked like. That G used to be like the G was one of the original the weekend fans. No bullshit. He had like seven thousand views on YouTube. Bro, his old shit. It that was shit deep. touches you. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like. Bro, it, it's almost like uh, sense. Eminem's old shit, Stan. Mm-hmm. But I hope <sighs> it's like if that music, it doesn't. It's like the world needed that music. Like it doesn't even make sense if that music didn't exist. Yeah, like Kanye's old music. Like his music was needed in the time that it came. Man, when the reminisce over you, my God, Kanye, genius. That's a dope name though. But I wouldn't want to give that to my kid now, just cause Kanye. Yeah, I like the name Kanye. It's an African thing. It's not his real name? It is. No, right? it is his real name. I'm saying it's an African thing. Like, Amani, 
Amani is, you know, Amani is a is a word in my language, kind of. What is it? In basic, kind of means like um, peace. <laughs> Money, uh, what is it? Johnson. <laughs> of course. Obama. <laughs> now, before we start the uh, delegations, uh, I, I, I like to. That lunch table was classic. Right, Me, yeah. you, Andreas, Amani, and Dwight. <laughs> Fucking yeah, retards. Fucking crazy. <laughs> And then the year after that, when you weren't there, it got so rampant and crazy. That's when I we I added CNJ, J Fowl, Dre Billingsley. These didn't niggas. Didn't you have a couple of fights? Yeah. Like didn't Joe and Dre? Yeah. That nigga Joe was standing ten toes down on Dre ass. Like what's good, nigga? <laughs> he would low key get after, dropped by Dre. After Joe started it, that's what I don't understand. I seen a recent picture of Joe. It looks exactly the same. But yeah, Joe looks exactly the same. Nothing changed. He got that Trey Young hair still. <laughs> Damn it, balding. <laughs> That's why I don't want mixed kids, but I don't know what I'm gonna get. Mixed kids, y'all are different breeds. I'll get a mixed kid that doesn't like black girls. I'll get a mixed kid with like thin hair. <laughs> mixed kid who <laughs> whose hair is horrible. There's always some of them. Mixed kid whose hair is like red, like that's your mama's side. Where they come from, like, you're <laughs> like my beard's red. Like that's why I always like mixed kids. Y'all be doing too much, bro. If I get a black kid, I know I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. A Jadavian Clowney, one point three percent body lucky, fat. You're five ten though, and your dad's five eight. <laughs> my dad's not five eight. <laughs> yes, he is. My dad's taller than you. No, he's not. Yeah, my dad is taller. Than no, he's not. You. Yes, he is. My no, he's not. My dad is flat, six foot flat. <laughs> no, ten centimeters, nothing. Huh? Just six foot flat, <laughs> shoes or without. <laughs> like both. <laughs> both. Like KD, when he took his shoes off, he was taller. Yeah. No. Nah. My thick ass heels. My dad is six foot though. No, he's not. But David is six three. He yeah, he's big. Your dad is 5'8". My dad's 6 foot. I'm 5'11". Glory's 5'11". <laughs> Glory's 6'2". Oh, my fucking God. 203. <laughs> Cold safety. 6'2". I think if G really was 6'2", or 3, I probably wouldn't fuck with him whatsoever, bro. <laughs> I'd be done with him. It, that's just too much things going his way. That's just way too fucking That's much. why you don't fuck with David? <laughs> Glory, had the eight. Glory to God? What kind of name is that? Whose name is a phrase? That'll make sense. If you guys did a 